Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. It's quite a quick and easy card, this. So, to make this card, I've got a white card base of 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. No, that's wrong. <laughs> a white card base of 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths, scored at 4 and 1 eighth, and folded in half. And I've got a piece of knight and navy at five and seven eighths by four and one eighth. The reason I've got that is I didn't have a full sheet of knight and navy left to make a card base, so I'm just adding it onto my white base. Um, yeah, so I've got that. I've got two pieces of one piece of white at two inches, two and a half inches by four inches and a piece of designer series paper at two and a half inches by four inches. This is out of the Sailing Home Paper Series pack. don't know what it's called, can't remember. I should look it up really, shouldn't I? Let's have a look. DSP. It's called Come Sail Away Designer Series Paper. <laughs> First one I've seen. So, yeah, so that's what I've got. I've also got the anchor cut out. And I did that in Smoky Slate. And I've also got this little wooden anchor that my upliner gave us this month. She gave us some wooden elements to go with this series so I thought I'd use one right to get started we need this piece first and put that out of the way right with this piece what we're going to do with the small yacht we're going to stamp all over the card base with knight or navy and all I did was just stamp this yacht over the card base. What I really need is a bit of paper so I can stamp off the page. little bit there a bit there so that's all we've had to do on that one and then with our got blue ink all over me our um, small white piece we've got the large yacht which will stamp down to the towards the bottom and the left like that and then we've got the sentiment that hope be your anchor through the storms of life so I'm going to stick that up there hope it's straight. Hmm, not very straight. Let's try again. So, yeah, that'll do. And then, stamp the boat again. that's all we need that one for. <coughs> now I've got balmy blue and my brush. 
is a makeup brush and all I'm going to do is just round the edges a nice pale blue colour and that is it just so it's nice and blue and just very lightly go over that pale bit that has run don't like that and I don't like that let me get another piece of <coughs> have I got a bit here oh look at that Just cut this to size. Doesn't matter, it's a bit wider. And we'll start again. So, do the yacht first. And then the sentiment. even better. Right what I'll do is I'll stick that to one side to dry a minute and, that. and I'll stick this on my card base. And I want it to cover This will sit just there. So we can put that on. Right. Need to mention us for the next bit, so get them ready bring this back in with let's see if I've got enough on there no There you are, back to where it was before. That's the thing, if you don't like it, start again. Alright, dimensionals on this. I mean I could have stopped the video and started all over again and you'd think I was perfect because I can make a card in one go when in reality I can't I make loads of mistakes when I'm making cards and I have to start again alright I'm going to stick this just so that there's a bit of the DSP showing like that and then with this anchor I am only adding a tiny mini and I didn't get them out a mini DSP 2 
the bit that sticks up, I don't know what it's called, and the bottom. And one here. What am I doing? That's it. Take the backings off for of this. And add some glue. I think I've put that on the wrong side, I have, you stupid woman. That's it. There is no other sentiment on this because this card can be used for anything really. So I'm not adding a sentiment. It could be, I think, in a U card where some male, I suppose, is having a hard time. Oh, forgot about this. So. And I just think that on the top of it. Yeah. Well, I hope you like that. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. Which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting. And I hope to see you again soon.